Hey, it's me, Tony Lee. Welcome back. I'm so thankful that you are here and that you are you. This weekend looks a little different actually in Virginia. Yesterday, I took a flight from two and I got here at six o'clock. I've never flown into Roanoke. This is my first time ever. And I'm so incredibly grateful that I did get the opportunity to fly because the whole time I was thinking about how I drive and how long the day is and how I'm always annoyed by the end of it. How I just want to be there and flying was so easy. It was so smooth. Like we got a good deal on the flight is the only reason why I did it. It was like $200. So really great deal. But I flew from Portland to Dulles and then from Dulles to Roanoke. Yeah, it was my first time ever flying into my hometown. It was really cute when they were like landing. They were like, if this is your home, welcome home. We're in Roanoke or wherever you're traveling, may take you. And if this is home, welcome home. Please stay comfortable. See which seat belt securely fastened. Until the seat belt sign has been turned off, you may continue to use your cell phone, small devices. Don't forget to check around your seat belt pocket. Make sure that you have all your personal belongings. I was like, yes, I am home. I am here this weekend because Monday is our dad's 10 year anniversary since he has been gone. Um, yeah, I should make a whole video on it, but my dad died when I was 16 and I'm 26. It's been 10 years. It's kind of crazy to think like 10 years. I, yeah, no, I, I don't really want to get too much into um, my thoughts and things because I do think I want to just make a video solely on losing someone so young and dealing with grief because I've dealt with a lot of grief in my life. I always always try and be with my family on this day because it's, it's the hardest day of the year for us like we talk about if we could just skip February we would so why I'm here in Virginia for the weekend so that we can be together as a family. So we're doing lots of family activities. This is a family fun weekend, even though we're honoring and celebrating my dad. Happy to bring you along. We do do a we do do we do tradition on Monday. We love to beer, so we always have beer and go out back, eat steak. It's like a whole thing. It's a great day, honestly. Like to sit and remember him. That is what our weekend is. Today is Saturday, so I flew yesterday, Friday. Today is Saturday. We'll probably just go around, walk around downtown hang out and then tomorrow no real plans my mom said she wanted to go to parkway brewery i've never been okay we are me and my brother spending the whole day together we're just gonna have a great day and then i go back on tuesday this is gonna be a loving fun weekend i know we actually went to mexican the night before and it was so crazy because when we were there we saw my cousin sarah who i hadn't seen in so long i really feel like it was my dad putting her there how old is you girl three years old. oh my goodness I'm three years old. oh four years old i will be three years old oh my goodness her straight years old yeah her straight <laughs> ellie's like me too i'm three days old still my brain don't work too good <laughs> oh dog's taking the dog Yo, dogs taking poops in beautiful places. We all this thing now. My mom and I went and got smoothies and a wrap at Elderberries. This was one of my favorite places to go to in high school. It's really easy to run over there and get something. She decided on getting this chicken wrap, which I won't lie, I'm very happy she did get it because it was so yummy and crunchy. It was like a Thai chicken wrap, and I got the Spartan smoothie which was so gummy. That's me. <laughs> mm. It's so yummy. After Outer Berries, we ran over to a new leaf, which is my mom's best friend's plant shop. It's so adorable and cute. I'm obsessed with it. Honestly, you should go follow them on Instagram. If you're in the Virginia Salem area, go and check it out. That's where it's located. It seriously is so cute. Algebra and other things the devil <laughs> We've been out running around. We went to Blue Moon, which is this really cute place in Salem. My mom loves it and we got these mushroom canisters 
$50, I can't believe it. We've been get, getting steals all day. So that we went to TJ Maxx, walked around. Now, we've got plans. Plans are carrying. And after we are here, we're gonna go and have lunch with Bub. So, good stuff. Da -da. Hey, it's hey, um, how you remember that really funny YouTube channel called Epic Meal Time? And they'd eat bacon and they'd go, Oh, that big bacon. <laughs> yeah. We had breakfast this morning as a family. It was so nice just to be with everyone and be together. We absolutely did nothing for the rest of the day. Just hung out, relaxed, and we obviously ate a bunch and then we headed to park. <laughs> Happy President's Day. I honestly don't think I really talked much yesterday, but we just like ran around, really hung out here. It was We were together and then we did actually end up going to Parkway Brewery. That was my first time there. I can't believe it was my first time because it was really cute and it's so good. But today it's President's Day and today is my dad's 10 year anniversary since he has been gone. I. I'm a little emotional this morning. It's hard. Um, I just like made an Instagram post and everything. <laughs> These dogs definitely help, <laughs> but I, um, I've never really talked about it, you know, on here, other than like a couple times here and there, really will mention it. But the reason that I am here this weekend in Roanoke and things is because <laughs> My dad died 10 years ago. He had brain cancer, glioblastoma, and he lived for about 18 months with it. And then when I was 16, he died. So that's like a short story about it. And yeah, I uh, was interrupted, one by the dogs, and then two, my brother actually called me because 
I said I found this really cute picture of him and my dad. So I sent it to him and I was like, look at how cute they're like wrestling in the floor. <laughs> it's really cute. I honestly don't know if like today is a good day to talk about it because the emotions are very high, very high. I find that in the summertime when it starts to get warmer and things, it, it is a lot easier for me to talk because it's like further from the date. They're like, there's so much that's going on still always like prevalent in my life because I think about him every single day. Like there's not a time that goes by that I'm not like reminded of him that I don't think about him because he was truly my best friend. Like we did everything together. My, my mom was a store manager and my dad worked the night shift. So I was always with him during the day. And he just truly was my best friend. And he just always made me feel so safe. And it's just not that, you know, like I struggle with just finding like the security that I'm doing good in life and that I'm following the right track. And obviously like no one has the right track. Everybody's life is different, but I feel like we get a lot of gratification and like reassurance from our parents and I obviously still have my mom and I love her and she will reassure me every day and always will and I know my dad would too but it's it's the physical like you are doing good I'm proud of you and I know that he is but the words to hear him and to have him see what I'm doing is like what I I wish could happen but like I said in the post that I made it really is crazy how I'm reminded of him through him like he he sends himself because since I left Portland on Friday every single time I like look up in the sky I'm not even kidding like almost every single time there's this small little rainbow just right up in the cloud and that's like it never happens to me I like usually I'll see like rainbow after rain but to just see these random spots of the rainbow it lets me know it's him you know we it's actually mind-boggling <laughs> I made the post and every time I see a red cardinal it reminds me of my dad like that's him telling me that he's here that he's around me that he is you know right by my side I made that post not five minutes later a red cardinal flew by and was just like hopping around outside on the on the porch back deck i was just like what it's crazy that that can still happen you know that he is still here but it's that physical that i do miss and wish that i could hug him that i could tell him i love him <sighs> and it, it does make it a little bit easier being here with my family and with my bonus dad and my friends and to just be together with the ones that knew him the best. It's nice and to look through pictures and to just remember him, you know? Every single year, we drank a beer for him because that's what he loved. He loved beer, especially Bush Light. Like, legit would crush a 30 rack of Bush Light on his own on a Saturday. It's actually like not good when you think about it. Um, he definitely struggled with some alcoholism. Uh, everyone in his family really does. So yeah, that um, we celebrate in that sense, but we eat a steak as well. Usually we try to go to Outback and this is actually the first year we are going to Outback that we all are going to be able to eat a steak in honor of my father because we're none of us are vegans anymore. So we're all looking forward to having a steak and a beer in honor of him. And I really truly think that that is the best thing that you can do if you've lost someone and you just have a hard time on that day. I think like the best thing to do is to just go and do all the things that they loved. Just remember them, take the day off. Like I'm not working today, it's Monday, which some people like have president's day off, but took the day off today and tomorrow I'll be going back to Portland. But it's just crazy that, you know, like, some people really do just wallow in sadness and I can sit here and I can do that for sure. Like I've done it for the past like hour, just sat here and cry, like cried thinking about my life and 
obviously I'm, I'm getting such sweet messages back from my friends and family, you know, just saying that they're thinking about me and how proud my dad would be of me. But it's still hard. It's still hard to not have him because he was my best friend. We did, like legit did everything together. The perspective is what really matters and I'm so grateful that I had the relationship that I had with my dad. He really was truly my best friend. And I know there are so many people who have like a strange relationship with their parents. And I just, it, you know, that that's another reason why it's so hard is because we did have such a good relationship. It's like, why did it, why did it have to end so soon? I'll never know. <laughs> I think, you know, everything really does happen for a reason. And I sit, I sit so firmly in that whether or not we know the reason as to why it's happened, uh, everything really truly does happen for a reason. And I stay content with that because I find people are like, oh, well, time will heal. Like, you'll feel better. You know, it's really, really hard to know that the next 10 years, I will have lived longer than I knew my dad. And it's so crazy to think that, like, how, how I've gone 20 years without him, and I only lived with him for 16. I mean, there are some people who never know their dad, and I know that, and that's why I'm, I'm so grateful for the time that I did have. Because he was just the best. He was really the best dad, and he loved me and my brother so much. <sighs> like, he would have done anything for us. Like, absolutely anything. It was just hard. I honestly want to stop crying. <laughs> so, I'm going to stop crying, drink some coffee. I'm going to smoke a joint, because that's what he would do. We gonna shower we're gonna get ready my brothers are both off today as well and we are gonna spend the day together we are going to go to texas tavern for lunch because that was my dad's favorite spot like chili love it and we're gonna go like shop around i'm gonna check out my brother's places i haven't seen their new places they both moved well i've seen my one brother's place but he got a new cat so we can go meet milo his cat and we're gonna go to dinner. Sorry if this is so stuffy. This is real. This is what life is. And grief is hard. Losing someone's hard. Even if it's not a person, losing anything is really hard. I know that there are multiple things that you can lose and it can be really devastating and hard. And so if that is the case for you, just know that I'm thinking about you. I think that's the best thing. I always hate when people are like, I'm so sorry for your loss. I'm like, Please don't fucking be sorry. You had nothing to do with it. Did you Did you kill him? Okay, no. So did you lose the thing? No. So don't be sorry for me. I hate when people are like, I'm sorry for you. Like, I don't want that. I don't. I want you to be thinking about me. And I want you to think happy thoughts. And I want you to send me your happy vibes. Not your, oh, I'm just, pity. Like, no, do not pity me. Because this life is full of too much pity already. We need more love. So send me all your love. <laughs> That being said, I'm gonna get ready for the day. <sighs> February 19th. I'm always happy when it's over. <laughs>
that morning, they actually had to defrost our plane, which I didn't know could happen or needed to be done, but the plane was super frosty and they just put this nice foam all over it. Thank you.